Right, I'm testing components from a, I think it's a, a, a Vito van, probably about 2008 on. Um, yeah, here's a reel that's been sent. Um, th this is one that's, uh, I think it's been a, a second hand one. Um, uh, because of the connect connectability of these uh, fine threads, um, we cannot actually put that on the tense bench. Uh, so to test the components, we, we, we remove them. Now these are the parts from our, our uh, test rail. Um, and that one screws in there, which is a regulating valve that regulates the fuel on high pressure. That's the uh, the sensor goes in that in there. Um, obviously, the, the, these are our test ones. So how we how we test these components? We screw them actually into our test rail. Um, if you get a failure on on this, especially it's just a tube a tube with drillings on, um, you, you get leakage. Uh, the threads on here sometimes go when they've been over tightened. Now what I did notice when I removed these, that that unit there wasn't tight enough. It relies on the seal. There's no there's no rubber seals, it, it relies on that metal seal there. And it's got to be at least um, 65 newton meters that. If not, what happens is um, fuel uh, from high pressure goes through um, down the release straight back to the tank. And that could be the fault with the vehicle because that wasn't tight enough. Anyway, uh, we've got the things on the bench. Now that unit, and that unit is a test one that we have got our, on our rail. The ones off this rail itself is actually on the bench. Um, so, you see that one there? That's the regulating valve. Um, and that's connected to the, the test equipment. And there's actually uh, the pressure sensor. So we're testing the pressure sensor on the rail, even though the, the, um, um, the, the, the rail itself has we've been substituted for our test rail. Uh, right, okay, there's your pump. Uh, and they're, they're at your injectors, so m most of the, um, the the diesel components of the vehicle is actually on the test bench at the moment. So what we'll do, we'll start testing. Now our test bench says that uh, the supply pressure to the pump um, should be about 3 bar, or should be 3 bar. So we just give it 3 bar of pressure. Slightly over, just take that down a bit. There, 3 bar of pressure. Right, open it back up again. Oh. Right, what we're doing, because you said it's, it's not, this vehicle's not making any pressure at all, even when cranking, um, I'm going uh, to try and um, replay the cranking uh, on the vehicle. So, what we've got on the, on the, uh, the test equipment, that's uh, the delivery and the, and the recovery electronic metering. Um, we've also got the, uh, up here we've got the, the pressure set to 300 bar, which it would be at cranking. And I've also set the bench to go 100, 100 RPM. 100 RPM is probably cranking speed. It's 200 RPM, but the, the pump uh, goes, you know, about um, half the speed of the crank. Um, so, well, do I just start it up? Oh yeah. So there's there's the RPM on the bench, uh, and, and there's the, the bar. So you imagine this has been cranking. They say we'll put 100 RPM. Uh, we just start. I didn't press start, so we'll just press start now. Right, okay. There you go, straight up to about 300 bar, 300 bar. Right, and we also, so that, that's going back to the tank, 400, that's litre per hour. We've got 1.7 litre here, 1.7 litre an hour, which is ample at the start of the vehicle. Um, Right, and also we've got a flow meter here, which is like an old-fashioned flow meter, and that's still ample to start the vehicle as well. I've, I've started like five litre vehicles uh, cranking with, with, with that sort of um, movement on the on the on the, uh, the yeah on the on the flow meters. Right, okay. So what we'll do now? So we're still at 100, so we're still at 100 RPM. What I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll stop that. Now what we'll do? I'll demand 1,200 bar. Okay, there you are at 1200 bar. Still only 100 RPM. We're going at 1200 bar. Uh, there's different flow uh, th um, things that we do um, actually as, as the pump's running. So there's efficiency tests one and two. Um, I've tested them and they're good. Um, so we do them at 1000 and 2000 RPM. Go 
another minute now I'll, uh, I'll replicate the uh, the vehicle cranking on the, on the injectors so if I just stop that what we'll do we'll go out onto injector um, wash injectors so I know this is 0445 115 so 0445 is Bosch Common Rail 115 is um, the generation 3 piezo uh, and it's 069 there we go right so we've got so we've got trigger all four injectors right so what I'll do I'll pull the uh, the pressure down to 300 bar so that's the cranking pressure what what the the engine had, had um, or what the ECU would demand is probably about 300 bar from a cranking pressure um, start on no speed right the pulse width well the pulse width at cranking it's definitely more than uh, 4.75 which it's put in for the, the low speed at running um, the pulse width that's that's the um, the width that the injector is getting triggered by the, the by the ECU it'll be more like uh, one millisecond So one millisecond. Now the frequency is how quickly, how quickly per second that the injector has been triggered. Now it's at 16.67 now, which is idle. Uh, I would say it's more like, well, it's probably about six. So like six, right? Okay. So we're going to flow. Right. These are all your four different um, flows, and there's the back leakage, which is equally as important. Right, so we'll just start that. Here I'm triggering. Right, so this is um, the injector's triggering. And that's what it would be like. Uh, so, so we're replicating what's actually actually idling. Um, so, do, 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 and, and it's starting to go. And there you go. So, even at a very low RPM, it's still putting in 3.1, 8.2, 5.8, 8.2 uh, of, um, of millilitres an hour. So the vehicle should go. And you look at the, uh, the 4 metres, it's still um, reacting enough. Even, so even, even though the injectors are actually injecting, um, so as it were, injecting um, fuel into the cylinder, the pump that's on the, on the bench is still capable of, of, of um, making a decent enough flow. So, saying all that, I can't understand why your car's not making any fuel pressure. Obviously, it's nothing to do with the components you sold me, even though um, this unit was slack, it might have been that uh, leaking pass going back to the tank. The other thing is, you've got to think about is, is the, um, the pump, which you can see there turning, is it getting driven correctly? Um, also, another thing you've got to think about, although you said you've got a decent pressure from the low pressure pump in the tank, I think, which is there, you've got pressure, but have you got flow? Um, that's another thing you've got to think about. And another thing as well, is, is the ECU actually driving all the components like it should be? Obviously, the components that you sent me, um, they're working fine. So, um, I'm sorry, but it looks like you're back to the drawing board with this one. Um, the little thing, the little differentials in that, well we're not doing the test plan correctly, we're ju I'm just making sure that the, 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 the vehicle is um, is capable of starting on cranking, which with these components it should at least try, you know what I mean, even if it's not bang on. I'll run through all the correct procedures in a moment, uh, and uh, we'll send them back here. Oh.